सो हे गाइस ये वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम सेक यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द चैप्टर वर्क पार एंड एनर्जी सो फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक एट द क्वेश्चन अ लाइट इन एक्सटेंसिबल कॉर्ड टाइड एट वन एंड टू पेग ए ऑन द वॉल पासिस ओवर फ्रिक्शनलेस पेग बी फिक्स इन लेवल विद द पेग ए एंड सपोर्ट्स अ लोड एट द अदर एंड बिटवीन द पेग्स द कॉर्ड इज वेयरिंग अ स्मॉल रिंग ऑफ मास इक्वल टू दैट ऑफ द लोड इनिशियली द रिंग इज हेल्ड इन लेवल विद द पेग्स एज शोन इन द फिगर एंड देन रिलीज determine acceleration of the ring when it passes an equilibrium position acceleration of free fall is taken to be g so if you want to give this question a try yourself uh, you can do it now so yeah, now let's look at the hint so the hint is uh, try finding the velocity and uh, then differentiate it so this is one of the hints uh, or you can also uh, observe it with respect to one of the pegs that would also give you another solution so if you want to give this try again with this hint uh, you should do it now so yeah, now let's look at the solution so first uh, we know that as it goes down here i have assumed that uh, the uh, ring is at a distance d from any one of the pegs and as it has a midpoint it will be equally from uh, at a distance d from the other end and here i have assumed that it has gone down by an angle theta at any instant and here the velocity v, uh, i was assumed two velocities v1 to be of the ring in downward direction and v2 to be of the load in upward direction so uh, first of all uh, the distance go gone down by the ring will be d tan theta and uh, so now first let's find the velocity when it moves down by a distance h so uh, by string constraint v1 and v2 can be related as 2v1 sin theta equals to v2 and mind you this is not v1 sin theta equal to v2 this uh, that would have been the case when the, uh, this would have been a be bead and it would have been fixed to the string but here this is a ring and thread is passing uh, through it so basically when it uh, generally when uh, if it was a bead it would have been v1 sin theta equal to v2 but here twice the amount of thread is being required because uh, it is increasing this uh, this thread or and also in this thread so uh, that is one way you can see it or other way you can see it is by uh, seeing that v1 is equals to d uh, d by dt of the height which is equals to d tan theta and this comes out to be d sec square uh, theta into d theta by dt and the uh, and by uh, conserving the length of the string you get that the height h gone up by the load can be calculated as 2 times d by cos theta minus 2d and this comes out to be this and differentiating this and then relating it we can get this relation again so this is uh, uh, this you can overlook this very easily usually and so this is an important point so uh, to focus on so uh, we got these two relations as well just as i explained so now hence by energy conservation what we get is uh the kinetic energy will be equals to the change in potential energy so from here half mv1 squared plus v2 squared equals to mg d tan theta minus mgh and here substituting the value of uh, v2 equals to v1 sin theta uh, 2v1 sin theta we get a v1 square times 1 plus 4 sin square theta is equals to 2gd and here i have substituted the value of h so we get this result and uh, finally we get the value of a v1 square to be uh, 2gd times sin theta plus 2 cos theta minus 2 over cos theta plus 1 pl oh, times 1 plus 4 sin square theta you can work through the calculations on your own and similarly uh, now as just as i said on differentiating this we would get uh, then expression for uh, acceleration so differentiating this with respect to time t what we get is 2v1 times dv1 by dt should be equals to 2gd times d by dt of this expression so now uh, this can be written by chain rule as d by d theta of uh, this this times d theta by dt so uh, this is what we get and uh, to cancel out and uh, from here uh, earlier as i said d theta by dt can be written from here in terms of v1 and d and theta as v1 by d uh, sec square theta so substituting that here we get uh, d theta by dt as this value and uh, on uh, now uh, v1 cancels out and we get we get the value of uh, dv by dt which is the acceleration to be g by sec square theta times the derivative of this function now this is a very uh, complicated function and you can differentiate it manually but it will just get lengthy so i just uh, put it in a derivative calculator and i got the expression of the, the, this derivative to be this value so this must be the acceleration at any uh, at any angle theta 
so uh, now when it is at uh, an equilibrium theta so we can we should find the value of theta which can be found very easily uh, and by equilibrium condition in the given question what we mean is equilibrium when it is it was at rest so theta uh, from here is given by so here uh, 2t cos theta equals to mg 2t sin theta equals to mg and t equals to mg so 2mg sin theta equals to mg and theta comes out to be pi by 6 so substituting this in the above expression and finally we get the value of dv1 by dt equals to 3 times 2 root 3 minus 3 over 8 times g. So this is the final, acceler uh, final acceleration and final answer. And uh, just a side note to this problem for those who are confused that uh, how the particle is having acceleration in the equilibrium position as it might be uh, very com it's a common result that the force at the equilibrium position is zero but uh, that's only true when its velocity is zero but here the ring will have velocity and the acceleration can be considered as centripetal with respect to some other points the other method i said earlier that we can observe with respect to one of the two pegs and uh, with respect to that it can be considered as centripetal acceleration so now uh, uh, that's why it will have some acceleration and uh, for example let's consider a particle lying at the bottom of a hemispherical bowl at rest and uh, in one case it is moving. So in the moving case we have a centripetal acceleration even though it is in the stable equilibrium position. So this is a very nice example to that and hence this was the final answer to this question. So it was a pretty nice question and a few of the uh, were very nice ideas in it. So hope you all liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.